shipped to restaurant. Wait, say that again. <laughs> Man arrested after three million worth of drugs shipped to restaurant. Three million. Um, it was probably McDonald's because you know they be sprinkling it in their fries. Remember that, Miss? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's their secret ingredient. <laughs> Jeez, why are, why are these fries 10 times more addictive than Oreos? I don't get it. Whatever could it be? This, you want to guess where this one happened? Oh, Florida. Big time, Florida. <laughs> nope. What? Three million? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Georgia. Nope. You hate it, bro. And you know, first of all, it's you the, know that Georgia is the second runner up. This is our weekly Texas. isolate Texas. Florida. Mm -mm. It's Michigan. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Shot <laughs> fire everywhere. <laughs> Road, <laughs> Road, we, we Delaware. Go south, <laughs> Delaware. We gotta go all over the south to be fine. Oklahoma got it. Ooh, nope. good. That was a good. Vegas. Come on now. Nope. Okay. Uh, Cali? And, West Coast? Nope. Is it, I'm, was, see, now I'm starting to think, like, it's okay, I'm, I'm going to Mexico. Hold on, wait. <laughs> With this on, Guadalajara. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> animal, animal, mineral, or vegetable. What are we talking what? about? What? <laughs> what was What was the restaurant? Is that cheating? It's in the United States. This happened in... North Dakota. Uh, <laughs> no. Montana. <laughs> No, okay. Auburn, Maine. Damn, I had said Rhode Island too. Okay, wait, hold on. Chris, <laughs> what Rhode in Island. our history would make you believe that we could ever guess that? The lobsters, bro. <laughs> the lobsters busting a little too hard, bro. <laughs> what? What? And I, we tried everything, Chris. I said Rhode Island. I feel like I need some credit for that, man. I was amusing myself. Okay. We tried everything, Chris. <laughs> okay. Story reads. Employees of a main restaurant got a surprise when they opened a large wooden crate that they thought was a shipment of mugs they had recently ordered. Instead, they found a plastic tote that contained what law enforcement suspect is 14 kilograms or 31 pounds of the powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl. Yep, there it is. With an estimated street value of $3 million. Auburn Police Deputy Chief Timothy Kugel said in a statement Saturday, the tote had a shipping label with the restaurant's address, but the name of someone who did not work there. Employees who opened it saw what they thought looked like drugs, so they contacted the police. The crate was from Arizona and arrived in, main, in the main town about 30 miles north of Portland and was taken to the police department where, the, where a chemical field examination confirmed it contained fentanyl. About an hour later, a man whose name was on the shipment... <laughs> Showed up looking for the crate and was arrested. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> Jeremy, 41. Damn! <laughs> no, it's your time, nigga. It's your time! <laughs> Why you say it with all that bass in your chest, Chris? Because <laughs> this one is funny. Although, don't do drugs, everybody. It's not funny no more. <laughs> it ain't funny. <laughs> he was charged with drug offenses and for violating bail conditions. Damn, Jay. He's being held in a county jail without bail. Free my name, man. determined if he had an attorney. Uh, attorney. He previously spent time behind bars in 2007 on federal drug conviction. That checks out. Yeah, so they got an ongoing investigation to try and figure out where he was getting drugs from somewhere in Arizona. Mexico. I'm not. I'm not snitching, but I'm just making an educated guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next step. But yeah, that's that story. Damn, Jay the Fentanyl Man. <laughs> don't uh, don't deliver. Don't Amazon Prime your fentanyl to the restaurant and think they just gonna <laughs> hold this shit for your ass fentanyl. like how? Who did Walgreens? I think Walgreens does it. <laughs> You just deliver oh, your shit to Walgreens? <laughs> oh, yeah, the Amazon drop and pick up. Yeah, like, they just hold that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> he went on a whole nother level, though. Yeah. It's a whole different type of drop. It's like oh, a yeah, Pollo don't, Loco. <laughs> don't, send your, don't send your drugs Breaking to the bad? restaurant. 
<laughs> everyone. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Um, this next story is one from last week. Next story. Or a week before. What's the week? One of the weeks. Anyhow, rerun. <clears throat> Headline reads, Ohio man used more than $300,000 in taxpayer money for a wildebeest, hot tubs, roadside zoo. Okay, does he have like a... I, I don't even know. I don't even know. He's trying to do circle of life. It's the oh only gosh, time I've what? seen him in media. The world of beast. <laughs> He's doing the Lion King in real life. He's going to like throw some kid's dad out into the pit. <laughs> okay, so a fiscal officer in Ohio went on an unusual spending spree for five years on the taxpayer's Damn. diet. Damn. <clears throat> I'm going to kind of shorten this one up since we kind of... He he up. did that for a fourth of his career, basically. <laughs> He's had a whole ass zoo on the side. So, uh, let me skip down to here. The Auditor State Special Investigators identified more than $310,000 in misappropriated township expenses with multiple purchases for a roadside zoo created by Viestra, who is the township... Um, fund manager mm -hmm. was doing this. So a search warrant by multiple agencies yielded a golf cart, riding lawnmower, animal rescue trailer, six vinyl windows awaiting installation in a, in a building under construction for the Wildlife Center. Okay. After that, the auditor began its audit. Audits totaled $311,608 yeah, $311, in misspent funds, and he was elected in 2014. So he's been doing this since then. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he probably got like a yeah, business card yeah. that says VST back in what 2014. You know he's proud of them whole as animals in there. Oh yeah. So here's um three years they noted with big spending on them. There was sixty nine thousand six hundred and fifty four dollars spent in twenty eighteen, eighty one thousand one hundred and seventy nine dollars in twenty nineteen, sixty six thousand nine hundred and forty two dollars in twenty twenty. Uh, and those were just the three biggest years, I guess. And the list of stuff they noted on the audit were five hot tubs, wildebeest, two snow owls from England. Damn snow owls? This nigga was hogwarts in this shit, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he also had windows for a primate exhibit to be built, gazebos, generators, greenhouses, and custom-built enclosures. Wait, I bet this where the rest of the animals? Whales. I bet he was trying to get whales, bro. Like, real talk. What? Uh, you just do Sea World. You just sea mentioned world. two animals. Like, you mentioned the snow owls and the wildebeest. Was that it? Well, he was building enclosures and stuff. So, maybe he was <laughs> doing that. And then he was going to get more animals at another point, maybe. I don't know. And his first thought was like, yo, come see these wildebeest, man, and these snow owls. <laughs> until I get, well, some, okay. till I get but, some more stuff, man. <laughs> but he's in Ohio, so a wildebeest in Ohio would be exciting, kind of. Like, I will not so much. <laughs> wildebeest are us. Yeah, because well, yeah, wildebeest aren't native to the Americas. They're native to, I, I want to say, like, Madagascar, Africa type, type of place. Right. Like, so I... I don't even think they should be in cold temperatures. Actually, bro, that was his first know. choice. Like, that's what he wanted to start off with. Like, I at least get like a mountain lion or some shit that is just like stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's you gotta you gotta go big at first, or else okay. you just got five wildebeest to feed. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. We, we got big cats up here. That's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, native beasts are. Uh, wildebeest but are, are they? Native to Africa. I want them to be tame though. I want to oh, see no, him on the tame. side of the road at the zoo. <laughs> Those aren't tame, Jay. They're just in a cage. <laughs> I, wildebeest don't really move me, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't they don't butter my biscuit. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That turn of phrase. <laughs> oh, okay, Kim Possible. You grossed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, that was, you well, it was, it's, a very, it's a very Georgia thing to say. It was. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Real talk. <laughs> Shout out, so, mom. Um, I'm just gonna read about his sentencing now. <laughs> yeah, so sentencing he under later, the jail. <laughs> he was later sentenced in February 2023 mm -hmm. in Vinton County Common Pleas Court 
um, for to four years and 11 months in prison in order to pay $339,717.86 in restitution, which includes the funds he stole and audit costs. So that's, okay. that's what Does he said. get to keep the wildebeest if he pay all that shit back? No. Boy, Why? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he took a huge L. He's going to jail. Someone else has to take the oh, wildebeest yeah. and take care of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. What about the Snow Owl? <laughs> he trying to be P.T. Barnum, what he was trying to do. <laughs> he was going to get a whole he If he game. had got the whales, he could have done it. I, I'm trying to figure out how he was figuring to take care of these animals in the climate. Because you got Snow Owl over here and, a, <laughs> and an African wildebeest. So is, is, is the animal enclosure hot or cold? Like, what are, they, what, what are we doing here? Well, he was also building a monkey exhibit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should have started with it. I did. That was no, I'm telling him he should have started with monkeys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Why the fuck? He, he must. You got to really love snow owls. That that's second on your list. <laughs> <laughs> so They're majestic really and snowy. Mm -hmm. They have funny legs. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get into office and then misappropriate funds, everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? I can't be too mad at it. <laughs> he ain't hurt nobody. Yes, he did. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't I don't want some dude taking my taxes to build a zoo on the roadside. Yeah, that is pretty rough. How much it costs? <laughs> how much it costs to go? You know what I'm saying? Like he gonna give me a deal? <laughs> uh free for everyone who lives in the surrounding area. Let me go in there and be like, what kind of animals y'all got? Uh we got wildebeest, owls. And um, that's it. <laughs> nah, I'm good today. I, I'll come back when y'all get some <laughs> some primates in here. Okay, next story. Next story alert. Woman's dog falls ill from eating discarded marijuana while on a walk in New York City. You know, in New York City, that's pretty much best case scenario. Your dog gonna eat up off the ground, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, could be worse. <laughs> could be so much Could be crack. Yeah. <laughs> could be could be fentanyl. Yep. That, it, could be a could, could be, be a, a a rat with fentanyl. <laughs> it could be literally I anything. I feel I mean, like fentanyl rat needs to be a comic book. Fentanyl <laughs> rat is crazy. It so. could be like the new Ninja Turtles <laughs> for our, for our modern times. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You don't want to okay, go up so... against no fentanyl, right? Fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it would be a really good superhero. It would. Anyhow. Um, so, Bondi, an eight-month-old toy poodle, had just returned Damn. from a walk when he began stumbling. His head wobbled, and uh... soon he could barely stand. So his owner, Colleen, rushed him to a vet. The doctor quickly made a diagnosis. Bondi was stoned. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> On his walk, a sniff must have left Bondi to a discarded joint, which he ate. He was just doing his usual, exploring everything, sniffing everything. She well, said, he said, smell good, yeah. boy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call BS on one thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think Bondi's owner took the dog for a, a walk and the dog just found a discarded joint. She <laughs> had a discarded joint in her apartment and the dog ate it. And this is the story <laughs> she's telling because she don't want to get in trouble for having, you know, Discarded joints in her apartment. Because <laughs> in New York, I, I don't think it's been decriminalized in New York yet. Well, and putting her dog in danger, people will be more yeah. outraged over that. Because I don't see people don't just discard joints like that. They don't just be like, oh, it's half done. Let me throw it out. It's, no, people don't do right. that. that was, <laughs> I, I don't know how much it would take for it. It depends on if it's some trash or not. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. People it's... literally will take tweezers and smoke a roach that's this big. <laughs> <laughs> They're not throwing away half a joint. I just, I just don't see it happening. I wouldn't know. <laughs> me neither, man. Oh sure, sure not, cowboy. Yeah, all right. We we believe uh, you. Trust me, you do not want me smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> he will he will notice more things off about two thousands cartoons and tell us about. It. 
<laughs> what the fuck was she doing with a pager? That's what I want. Damn, where, did you find, where do you find a pager she in 2004? To fight crime. Damn. Where do you find a pager in 2004? She's like an old ass doctor. Wait, 2004. Where these pages, bro? 2004, I still had a pager. <laughs> Next will be like it's Sailor Moon. I ain't. I never seen this girl sail anywhere. Nigga had a. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had a. Nigga had a pager and a Motorola Razor, bro. I was that guy. <laughs> I remember people. My stepsister had a razor. She was feeling herself so hard when she got that razor. Did she get the pink one? <laughs> yes, she got the pink one. The only Legendary. Who had, who had, uh, the only people I know who had pagers after two thousand and one. Were drug dealers. They had pages and burner phones, mm -hmm. and that, and I mean, and tons of fucking burner phones, boy. They was going through them bad boys. How many fucking drug dealers do you know that you was documenting these niggas? <laughs> burner. Helena, we made it to CNN for the burner to movie. trash ratio, bro. We literally made it to CNN. What the? Not a cop. All right, Google bro. Operation Delta yeah. Blues. They 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 arrested all of our cops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all of the I judges. Remember that. I'm I'm seconding what he said. Yeah, the the dealers did have hell. We had that issue in Connecticut too. In Hartford, Connecticut, they sent in the um, National Guard to round up the the drug dealers and the and the oh, uh, yeah. gang members because it was like Latin Kings and uh, Los Salitos fighting over shit in Hartford, Connecticut. Like, why would you bring your ass into Connecticut to do this shit? <laughs> <laughs> they literally hired a local martial artist to help the police. <laughs> what? This nigga's walking around like Steven Seagal, bro. <laughs> I <hilarious>. know. <laughs> <laughs> they had helicopters dropping niggas off in people's yards. Wow. That was crazy. So, All right, then. Yeah. Shoot, where was I? What am I even talking about? <laughs> the dog <laughs> ate weed, and we just got off on a side conversation that went from <laughs> weed to dealers to pagers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this story isn't that interesting. She just keeps saying, I was on a walk and he ate a joint. And then they I say didn't, that people's I didn't, dogs I don't smoke weed. People's mm -hmm. dogs are eating joints in New York City all over the place on mm -hmm. walks about the time. So, yeah. Wait, is that true or, or is that like you're being sarcastic? I don't, I don't I care that. at this point. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, tell. I will say, I'm, I'm surprised that, like, I don't know. They, I, I feel like just a roach, like, yeah, nah. Your your dog ate way more than a roach, buddy. Mm -hmm. Look, I didn't want to see what I didn't want to see his little puppy dog head swaying around. I don't condone <laughs> it in any way, but I know that was adorable. Yeah, <laughs> his little puppy to toy poodle oh, head. You know what would be really funny to see how puppets already. Say again. I'm sorry, I didn't. A labradoodle. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Cause they look like Muppets. A little bit. A so, uh, high Labrador, that would be adorable. <laughs> a little bit like... Uh, Did you say any high dog would be like any... You know, not the dog, the little, the little rat dogs, but any basically any dog would be adorable. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't out of their mind. A stone chihuahua would be tolerable for once in its life. Or he just bite your ass in slow motion. <laughs> no, it would <laughs> Chihuahua, Chihuahua still found a way to be me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the angry. Damn, I'm glad your ass was high as hell, boy. That shit would have hurt it. <laughs> the smaller the dog, the worse the sharpness of the razor blade like teeth. This is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one last story. That story alert. Headline reads Someone definitely crapped themselves at a sleep token concert over the weekend. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. And I I also um self uh, I rock with sleep token though. Clean that up. <laughs> okay. Damn. Well, I guess I, I won't be going to sleep token concert. Bro. I haven't heard of sleep token. I'm old. You're wrong <laughs> as hell. Yeah, I'm old as hell. We went to a sleep Shout out concert. sleep token. Put your boy on. Up in so do they do rock or are they? Yeah, it's like alternative. Sometimes he'll hop on okay. the piano and get down and it goes like super mellow to super heavy metal. It's kind of cool. Mm. I'm going to have to check them out. Yeah. That okay. Sense. Story reads, there's unfortunate timing and then there's whatever happened to this poor soul during this past Saturday's sleep token concert at the Metro Theater in Sydney, Australia. Poor soul. <laughs> during a Damn. Oh, no. 
During a particularly quiet part of Atlantic, <laughs> as Buffalo played the keys and sang his heart out, someone thought they could get away with letting a fart out. Oh no. <laughs> But what came out of their rectal cavity? It was a shark. <laughs> Not a rectal cavity. <laughs> this is what they wrote. Bro, they fucking like rock. They gotta be. They gotta be specific, bro. They had to... <laughs> so it wasn't a teensy squeaker or a silent but deadly John. No, sir. What erupted <laughs> from their nethers was a straight five bowel writes. shaker. Who the fuck wrote this? Shakespeare. Get this nigga a Who the fuck? <laughs> Hither forth and nevermore. <laughs> I gotta get through this. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Quote the raven. <laughs> okay, so it was a stage five ball shaker that reverberated through the near silent crowd. <laughs> you could listen to you could listen for yourself in the clip below. But I gotta warn you, it's pretty funny. Oh shoot, I should have seen that and sent that to you. I bet that shit will shake your soul, uh, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I will finish reading this now. I will send you the link if you want to play it. <clears throat> I can't imagine being in the immediate blast radius of such an explosive moment, moment and not reacting exactly how the crowd did in that clip. You can practically taste the mix of laughter and shock that hangs in the <laughs> air. Shit. I'm willing to <laughs> I'm willing to bet the seat of their pants either looked like a shotgun blast went off or resembled a toxic waste this accident. This nigga is oh, God. getting out! <laughs> Just getting out on him, bro! <laughs> Leave him alone! It keeps going. He says, So thank you, mystery fart person. Your accidental emission of poo gas at the worst time made my Monday morning bright. Even if it made your underoos several shades darker. Oh. Right, Leave him alone. He's dead already. Well, you farted around the wrong nigga, but they wrote a whole soliloquy on your head. Yes. <laughs> like, this shouldn't even dissertation. be an article. <laughs> Does somebody, that, it must have been a slow news day. Boy, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done. Oh, no. He finishes with, if you want to test your fart timing skills during an emotional sleep token moment, be sure to check out the upcoming North American tour. Now you can get your tickets today. Challenge accepted. And then they list all the, the cities. They I'm about to eat in. a whole pot of chili <laughs> and go to a sleep token concert. <laughs> see how good I am at timing these moments. Okay, let's see if I can send you this. No, take me to the dang thing. Good gravy. Hold on a second. I'm working on it. Gravy. That's what I need with all that chili. Oh, God. <laughs> that shit was loud as hell, <laughs> I bro. I don't want to think about that. Uh, copy uh, the link. Copy the link. Thank you. That was gross. Oh, did you find it? Oh, yeah. It was, you just type in sleep token fart on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Was... Oh, are you going to play it then? Or no? Nothing. Uh, nah, because I don't want to play copyright music. Okay, I'll put it in the... I, that would make me probably yeah. super angry if I if they got me off of sleep token farts. No. They probably on high alert today. But uh, if anyone fart. wants to know what it sounded like, it sounded like a wet fart. And it was quite gross. It was yeah. sound like, you know. <laughs> no surprise there. And shout out to the lead singer of Sleep Talk kept that shit pushing. I'd be like, what the fuck? He's like, it's, it's cool, y'all. We got it. Oh, we just going. Hey. Oh, yeah. That's all my stories. Don't okay. go so. to a concert and fart as loud as you humanly can. Or try to poop before you go. Mm -hmm. It's so much more loud parts. That they do to their songs, and you waited till this nigga hopped on the piano. <laughs> oh well. What you got, Lady Shasha? Um, this is from New York Post. <laughs> the title reads: Tennessee right hotel guest wakes up to Ooh. night manager sucking on his toes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey. You know, that's um, the, sometimes you get the wake up call you don't bargain for. Chris, you're gonna love how this starts out. <laughs> oh, wait, let me get the let me the get the drums ready. The very first sentence. 
totally gross. I'm gonna put yes. this up here while. <laughs> This nigga oh, look like no. he done seen some toes in his life. Oh no! <laughs> this yeah, nigga's a... mouth has evolved to. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Oh, you can say his whole name. Nah, his 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 uh, face is public. It's, the New York it's right there. Say David Dill. This nigga name. <laughs> David yeah, the toe. Let's go. The toe man. <laughs> he's David Dill. Who? Toe man. Or... Oh yeah, I know him. <laughs> An evening manager of a Tennessee hotel was arrested after he snuck into a man's room and sucked on his toes, according to police. David Neal, a 52-year-old manager at the 4th Avenue South Hilton Hotel in Nashville, allegedly crept into a male guest room while he was sleeping on March 30th and got intimate with his feet. According to the Nashville Metropolitan Police, Neal made a key card to get into the room and entered around 5 a.m. The guest told police he woke up to Neil's mouth around his toes and immediately confronted him. He yeah. recognized Neil as one of the hotel em- <laughs> He recognized Neil as one of the hotel employees who came into his room the day before to fix his TV according to police. He cased this nigga joint. <laughs> yeah. Neil admitted to police that he had entered the room but claimed he did so because he smelled smoke and wanted to make sure the guest was okay. Uh, Police and Neil never reported smelling smoke to security, and there are no <laughs> other reports of guests or staff smelling smoke at the hotel. And um, okay, so one more part. Go ahead. Our, our test concluded that that was a fucking lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yep. The room key was not recovered. Cops said Neil told investigators that he had thrown it away. He was arrested at his home in Lebanon on Friday and charged with aggravated burglary and assault, according to police. He is currently jailed on a $27,000 bond, according to WKRN. She went, that's the most expensive toe session <laughs> ever. Mm-hmm. Also, dude, dude, flip this into an OnlyFans account and make some money now that New York Post has covered you. You can do this. Yeah. I believe in you. Go legit, please. Like, mm-hmm. you, uh, you Or we can legit. not let this nigga ever get out of jail. <laughs> 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 you, you could... You could you could flick this into a, a nice little bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm sure some dudes that'll watch you suck toes, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. You could literally, like, pay dudes to do this stuff. You don't have to. Or maybe he likes the the whole surprise part of it. Maybe that's what. You know what it excited. is? I think he just watched way too much porn. And mm-hmm. then he thought to himself, like, man, like. I know how this gonna go. I'm gonna suck his toes. He's gonna wake up and be like, oh man, I think you missed the, the wrong thing. You missed, a, you missed a few steps between yeah. watching too much porn and going <laughs> and sneaking into a nigga house and sucking a, a room and sucking on that nigga toes. I'm not gonna do porn like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do y'all dirty like that. Shout out Pornhub. Holla at your boy. Well, some people are dis- disillusioned. You know, and they watch all that porn mm-hmm. and then they get disillusioned, bro. Some people don't know the difference between fantasy and reality, bro. So. I mean, I, is it is it the is it the porn producer's fault? No. But yeah, dude, look like he needs some help, bro. We got we got to yeah. get we got to get that man some I don't know some help. Oh, some help. God darn, pop up. That ain't normal, bro. Here. Okay, our next story comes to us from South China Morning Post. <clears throat> um, that the headline reads: "Good Vibrations, Thailand's Dem- Democratic Party makes sex toy election pledge." What? (laughs) The Conservative Party has been a major player in Thai politics since the 1940s, but it flopped in the 2019 election. Sex toys are considered immoral in some parts of Thailand, and anyone convicted of selling them can face three years in prison or a fine of $1,800. A conservative Thai political party is seeking to woo voters ahead of next month's general election with a pledge to legalize sex toys, pointing to the fiscal and frisky benefits. Oh, this nigga is this gonna be a landslide. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll scroll down to. If it's, oh, do I gotta click on this? I hate when there it goes. No, nah, man, don't don't uh what? don't underestimate the. What is that you on? The- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at this nigga one. Yeah, <laughs> <it's not- laughs> this nigga is in full support. <laughs> yes. Despite its reputation for being one of 
Southeast Asia's most sexually liberated country, <laughs> Buddhist majority Thailand remains conservative. I got the same glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and and vibrators, dildos, and other intimate devices are illegal. The Royalist Democratic oh, really? Party has been a major player in Thai politics since the 1940s. But it, oh, I read that part already. No, okay, he's quoted as saying, <laughs> he's quoted as saying, sex toys are useful because they could lead to a decrease in prostitution, as well as divorce due to a mismatch of sexual libido and sex-related crimes. Party representative Rashada Tandarek said in a statement Monday. She said the government was also missing an opportunity to collect taxes on the legal import of erotic simulators. Mm -hmm. Right, um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had to look twice myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't do it. I was like, no. did I go to Thailand? <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> This nigga is a man of the people. Oh my god, bro. Bro. He dressed like I dressed in 2004. Bro. I'm pretty sure you got that shirt, bro. I'm the do. same color, dog. Bro, I'm sure I do, bro. I'm sure I do. It was a doppelganger out there for the only everyone. Thing he do that I don't do is wear hats, bro. Bro. I'm glad we had... Jay in his story, oh. and now we got Roy in his story. <laughs> <Niggas>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. He would be over there trying to blend in, too. Why does he look so much like me, though? What? That was you. That's right here. <laughs> bro, you got a long lost brother, bro. You need, to go over here. you need to go over there and talk to him about his oh libido. My God, bro. <laughs> and you oh both my have God. an affinity for wearing blue shirts. <laughs> I'm telling you, he got that shirt. He had that shirt. I see that That's shirt. I'm sure that shirt is around somewhere. I see that shirt. I bought that shirt in Jamaica. Okay, he got that shirt. <laughs> that nigga got that shirt. I, I knew it. The secret. <laughs> well, hold on. The nigga has his arm. Tell me. The dude that's, the dude what? that's what? campaigning for sex talk uh, fucked his wrist up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good point. He's got gar carpal tunnel from. <laughs> Someone get him a shake weight so he can get his strength up. Hey, vote for this nigga ASAP, please. Okay, sorry. The toys okay, are definitely the, the, supposed to help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> Our next story is also from the, Chi the China Morning Post. Um, quote, it's all his fault. Chinese wife who launched face-slapping onslaught against Japanese husband on busy Tokyo streets blames her man for cold violence. A Chinese woman losing control in the streets of Japan... Un of a Japanese capital slapping her husband in the face dozens of times before lashing out at passersby. Okay. Flanked by his wife at uh, apologetic social media live stream 48 hours later, husband says her, her outburst was all his fault. You see, that's that's victim talking. That's, right? <laughs> yeah. that's domestic abuse victim talking. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah. That poor man says a bizarre physical attack and the fallout from it by a Chinese woman on a busy Tokyo street has left the public in both countries shocked and bewildered. Social media reaction has been swift after video emerged of the woman repeatedly slapping her Japanese husband in the face before lashing out at an elderly lady and a young man who tried to intervene. Video footage taken on the evening of April 15th shows the woman slapping her husband's face dozens of times while screaming at him in both Chinese and Japanese. Oh, Okay. The jaw dropping event. Ass <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the jaw dropping event took place in Shinjuku, one of Tokyo's most crowded districts. I think that's the whole thing, is it? Oh no, there's a little bit more. When the man tried to calm his wife down, she continued to slap his face while aiming kicks at him. I think there's another image down you here. This is, nice. video. If I can say it. This is how I like oh, if, if if you didn't know anything about these people, you knew it wasn't America because this shit wouldn't have made the news at all. No, like, at all. Yep, it's true. So did they ever say why she was so mad? She's hitting him. <laughs> like what the? I'm not sure, but there's wait, there's two more paragraphs here. <laughs> Eyewitnesses said the woman's outburst was made even more surreal by the fact that her husband dutifully removed his spectacles in anticipation of the flurry of slaps and oh. put them back on after she had stopped. 
Oh, the farce geez. ended when the police arrived. Video clips of the incident have been reviewed a combination of two million times on Twitter and a number of mainline social media platforms. While there has been an outpouring of pity for the husband, many have labeled his wife a Chinese shrew, an expression Ooh. to describe a threatening and culturally repulsive character. However, two days after the incident on April 17, the couple went live um, on Dayun, the Chinese version of TikTok, to explain what happened. And this is, there's an image of them. If it will load, there it is. I know what happened this when they went has live. A, has a habitual routine for getting his ass whooped. Oh, he yeah, looks like he's got no life left in him. Yeah, it's sad. That's the, that's the I give up face. To the surprise of many, it was the husband who apologized. He said his wife's outburst was the result of him not treating her well <laughs> enough. The man explained in Chinese that he and his wife had been drinking at a restaurant earlier that evening, and he became angry when she ignored his pleas that it was time to leave. After leaving the restaurant, he refused to talk to his wife, causing her to lose her temper. It was my fault, the husband told her. I shouldn't have inflicted cold violence on you. <laughs> the woman who insisted she treated her, her husband well at home sincerely apologized for hitting the passersby, saying she simply lost control of herself and hadn't meant to hurt him. Yo, she oh, put that them. nigga on. No, she, she made that nigga good on camera. Yeah. yeah. But he knew to take his glasses off. This ain't the first time. Yeah, yeah. No, this, not this, at all. She put, she made him make a whole a routine, podcast. Bro. She what? made, she made him do a whole podcast on why he was the nigga in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? That's awful. <laughs> That's so fucked up. And look how yeah. mad she looked right there. Do they got, do they got battered men shelter? Can we, can we help this? Can we help him? I doubt that they yeah. have battered men's shelters. They only got like two in America, and one of them is in California. My mm. God, dude. Man. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. Online observers take a different view, pitting the husband even more after watching him take the blame. Yep. Quote, he appears to be used to being treated badly, said one. It is not about why she did it, but what she did. If your partner, regardless of gender, treats you violently and cannot control their emotions, you must leave as soon as possible, said another. Reports of women abusing men have risen steeply in Japan in recent years, according to a report in the Post in 2019. The problem could be even more acute as significant numbers of men refuse to report abuse, believing the problem is not serious enough or that they are partly to blame. That's how that ends. Mm. And there should be an abuse hotline for men. Right. I hope they're checking on him over there, man. Cause uh, yeah, I doubt it, bro. That's she. She did that in public now. Yeah. So yeah. imagine what she does in private. Yeah. Uh, he should fear for his his life and safety. Cause that's yeah, that's not cool. Get you know help whoever. He he really does. Cause like Japan be having some of the weirdest killers. I mm -hmm. swear. If well, remember ever... she's from she's from China. So right. that can be, that could also be, there was a Chinese woman who her husband cheated on her and she, you know, uh, chopped his, his, his junk off and oh. he went to the hospital. They Dude. reattached it. She went to the hospital, chopped it off again and threw it out the window. I know she put, she put Please. it in a blender or something. He, no, she, the, the one I read that she threw out the window and I couldn't he, find it. He had a second chance. <laughs> yeah. But the hospital let her in. They should have never let her in. Yeah. Right. If Probably somebody not. Chopped off your junk. <laughs> like there mm -hmm. should be a no contact immediately. Yeah, there was a failure yeah. in security that day. I know like, he saw her. <laughs> his blood pressure skyrocketed. Mm hmm They were not so, looking out for my guy. And then they just, just reattached it. So like did all she have to do was just go over there and just <sighs> fatality. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know if they got free. I think that might there. that could have possibly hurt faster than just like a quick chop. If right? they if let your if they out. let your attacker in and mm -hmm. she and she like cuts off your penis that they just reattached, I had to get my refund for this surgery. Y'all better not charge me shit for yeah. this. Oh, we charge you it twice, nigga. Because keep in mind, <laughs> we have to pay. We have to stop the bleeding yet again. So you get in charge on top of that surgery. Somebody gonna have to pay for this shit. The no, China, is, China. We suing. China has, <laughs> you gonna take it to court? China has had universal <laughs> health care since 2011. What, what, what charges will you bring? <laughs> uh, penile endangerment. But, but how many counts at that point? <laughs> That's a lot of counts.
<laughs> See, now there's no reason why we can't do this in the U.S. now. It says China successfully achieved universal health care in 2011. They have 1.3 billion people. We only have 300 million. And, but people keep saying that America, there's too many people in America for universal health care. We have 300 million, they have 1.3 billion, and they no. still, still were we, able to do universal health care. If you don't know that that shit is code for we have too many friends fleecing the fuck out of the American citizens yes. for us to care about that shit, mm -hmm. then you not you haven't been listening correctly because them yes. niggas do not care at all whether or not you live or die. All mm -hmm. they matter, all they care is that they can get every penny they can squeeze out your dumb ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, for my last story, I'm going to the TikToks. TikTok. Oh no, not Spirit Airline. Oh, that's hilarious. Spirit Airline. What are they doing? You gotta, gotta use some duct tape. What? <laughs> and it's just saying, I don't fly with spirits. I don't care if it is aviation, airplane tape, or nothing. The fact that you even have to take the plane together. He's right down and here. And then you're doing it while people are on the flight like we cannot see you. He's right there this taping away. right there that I will not fly with spirits. Now, Southwest, I can do. But Spirit, no, sir. He patting that hoes. You need to put tape. That tape don't lose this thickness. You flying all around the world and you got tape holding it together? Baby, no. Don't even worry about it. You can ask to get off, baby. So, so, right now, so right now. So, I just want to go ahead and say that right now, this lady knows literally nothing about fucking duct tape. Because astronauts use that shit to patch up the fucking True. Uh, International Space Station. Right. Yeah, I, I, um, so if it's good enough for the goddamn space station, Spirit can do it. <laughs> yeah, when I when I saw I this, trust the space I, station I before I trust the Spirit airplane. Though I'm gonna be real with you, bro. <laughs> it holds fifty percent duct tape this, at this point. I, I um, when I saw this, I texted my brother, and he's an avionic engineer, and he said that they do use a, a special duct tape on planes that's called speed tape. <laughs> So he was like, it's legit. That's what Gotta but go they real probably fast. shouldn't do it in front of passengers because passengers don't understand that. So right. they should probably do that <laughs> like before Spirit, boarding. The Spirit said, we're going to do this shit at the same time Spirit we board you. This nigga <laughs> repaired his hoe. Spirit said, it ain't our fault that y'all don't know shit about duct tape, okay? We're going to fix this goddamn plan. You okay? I'm surprised they actually fixed it. <laughs> oh, you know they was headed to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> he he patted it so like he's just so proud of himself, bro. <laughs> he's like that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know. <what> I mean? <laughs> okay, when you fix something, you do have to tap on it a couple times. That's like the universal mm -hmm. way to know you're finished. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have known? It's the same process with fucking <laughs> <laughs> plane. <laughs> it's in the manual. It's in the spirit manual. I'm Tap trying to see twice. the TikToker's name so I can shout her out. Because I don't like to use TikToker's content without naming them. Hold on, let me do it like this because it wasn't showing her full name. Come on. Body Plump. Shout out to Body Plump. Body Plump. Body Plump. That reminds me of a uh, of a um a girl from Twitter that used to make it to the uh, Black People Twitter page all the time. The the front page on Twitter on Reddit. Her name mm -hmm. was Heavy Titties. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. <laughs> this is just heavy titties. every time I saw that name, I was just like, oh. <laughs> but <laughs> she was funny though. <laughs> Did Jay oh. fall asleep? What? Yeah. <laughs> we done? Yeah. Hey. Oh, with a few minutes to spare. I could have sworn she had another one coming, bro. Um, first of all, RP to Jerry Springer. Oh, yeah. This nigga. 
babysat me for a couple of years. Can't even cap. <laughs> Shout out to Channel 36, the WB. <laughs> With the frog, remember? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. Um, who else? Oh man, I forgot. I know somebody else passed. I can't remember who though. Uh, was it Harry Belafonte? Or Harry, yes, Be Harry yes, Belafonte. Mm -hmm. Um. Anybody know the status of Jamie Foxx, or am I just? Is that? Oh hipper? man, I ain't heard nothing about him. Yeah, and no, they won't say why he's in the hospital. It's real uh, suspicious. Mm -hmm. Get well soon, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I missed you guys. We were back. We'll be back yeah. next week. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you, uh, Chris, as always. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Royama. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Lady Shasha, you already know. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, listening. Like, subscribe, and let everybody know about the most hood podcast on YouTube, baby. Shout out. My name is Jay. Have a nice day.